Hey guys, you know the deal. You're on Cool Stuff with Eric. And today we are talking about my 1972 C3 Corvette and the axle binding issue. So this is an issue they actually had from the factory, which kind of blows my mind. I don't know if they knew this issue was going to happen or they just figured it out after the fact and said, oh well. But if you're not familiar with the issue, it's the half shafts are basically built with U-joints and the U-joints would get in a bind when the suspension is fully extended. So one instance that um, I've seen people run into is when they're jacking the car up and they have some sort of vibration when they're driving down the road or something. So they'll jack their car up in their shop and then they'll crank up the engine, put it in gear to turn the, you know, the rear tires and everything to see where the vibration is coming from. And when they do that, the whole rear end is just jumping all around like crazy. And so then they're like, okay, the issue wasn't that bad. What in the world's happening? And what's happening is their suspension is fully extended because they, they've got the body jacked up and the frame jacked up. And so their U-joints end up in a, in a terrible bind. And so they're basically jumping and it can cause some serious damage. You can break your U-joints and it's just a, a pretty bad situation. So the main scenario where I'm concerned about the axle binding issue is if I end up taking this thing uh, track racing, you know, any of these road course races will typically have uh, hills and that sort of thing. And plenty of times you'll see where cars will actually get airborne or nearly airborne where the suspension is fully extending. So can you imagine an axle binding situation when you're going 140 miles an hour? It would be really bad to throw a half shaft, you know, going high speed. You're probably going to have a bad situation and maybe end up in a wreck. So that's my biggest concern. So I did not want that to be the case on my car. So I just uh, stole a little trick that we use in the drag racing world. We use it for a different reason, but um, I basically did uh, the same thing that we do there. And I limited the travel of my suspension. So come around back here and I'll show you what we did. We just put a cable right here. If you look up in the bottom right here, you see I drilled a hole into the frame and dropped cable down through there and then just created a quick little bracket, come around the other side right here. And you'll see I made this little clamp bracket so that I could adjust it and get it right. And I've got it stopping the trailing arm before it gets to the binding point. Naturally, without this cable, this suspension wants to drop another like two inches. Uh, and then you're, you're deep into the bind situation. Most cars from the factory have a natural limiter being the shock. When the shock is fully extended, it is what stops all of your suspension from extending any further.